So check this out. Since I put the hitch for uh, ride-on lawnmower attachments, they sell these drag-behind spreader units for fertilizer and uh, salt to melt the sidewalks and stuff. And it works perfectly for this thing. It's closed right now. Um, the, the unit comes with a hand lever, which I made a simple servo attachment for it. You control it on the radio by setting the dial to the right flow, which is basically how much that little door is open. And then when you open it, you can see this, the uh, salt will drop there. And then from the radio you can like fine tune just how much it's letting out. And then it also has enough power to uh, close it too. And this particular unit can hold 85 pounds of salt. I got about 50 in there right now. Uh, this is the first time using it, so let's see how easy it is to get used to it here. Um, they say that you should turn it off when you're turning. Let's see, it needs more flow than that probably. So I will just spin the dial a little the other way. And if you slow down, uh, the ice piles up, so you want to keep it at like a nice rate. And then when you come to a turn, turn the uh, thing so it's shut. It'll still keep spinning just because the wheels make it spin, but uh, it's not putting out salt right now. Then when you turn around, uh, open the door back up, and then start driving again. works extremely well and depending on how fast or slow you go and how much it's open or not will you know affect the flow rate and there again I turned it off when I got to a turn so that servo seems to work really well see I kind of missed a spot here And I did that already, so I'm going to turn around and do my uh, sidewalk really quick, see how that works. What's sweet about this is uh, you can do it from the safety of your driveway. Like if it's really icy out, it's, it's sometimes dangerous to even go out to put this stuff down. This makes it a lot safer. And you have full control over the flow from the radio. On the radio, I use that dial right there to adjust how much is being let out and then that uh, switch right there turns it on and off so it will stay in the last position that you had it so let's see about the uh, sidewalk here I want to turn it up slightly just for the sidewalk It's actually not very icy now, but I wanted to get some footage of this before it got dark. Looks like I'm already actually out of what I put in there. Uh, might have been putting too much down. But you can see through the... Uh, Nice rain protection. You can see the little door open and close in there. I'm going to quick go put another bag in. Because uh, our neighbor's driveway is extremely icy, so I'm going to go over there and do it for them. So 
So one thing is, I'm not really sure how the salt actually affects ABS plastic. But I'm going to go ahead and just wipe it off the top just so it doesn't change the color or something of it. Because I'm not really sure how aggressive the uh, salt is for, you know, pavement stuff. And this thing has a really sharp turn radius, even with the trailer on. And this is the stuff I'm using here. Just basic salt. So I'm going to put one more bag in here. So being that it's my first time using this, um, I probably dumped way more salt than I needed to because that did go really fast. Um, it, like anything, there's definitely some adjustments to make, but um, I'm going to start with it really low. You can see the servo moving there when I turn the dial. So let's try this setting here. turn it off though and go over to my neighbors really quick so it's hard to tell on camera here but this spot on my neighbor's driveway that I was blowing earlier in the film it's like slick slick ice, almost like an ice rink right here. Really dangerous for the um, postal service and stuff. So I'm going to dump a ton of salt right here. cool being able to turn it on and off from the radio for sure and yeah I probably dumped way more than I needed to but it's really thick ice there so I figured I might as well it's only on the the front of the driveway for some reason but I'm gonna do the sidewalk also still learning which way to turn the dial to make it open But this thing can still pull this machine through some fairly deep snow right here. So yeah, this is uh, definitely a really useful tool. I love this thing now. Well, I did already. But so it's cool too, you can use um, some of your hand here to get the uh, stairs and stuff. It saves you from having to haul a bag around, just dump it in the machine and move it where it needs to go. Yeah, 
Yeah, and then what's cool, this, this particular unit I got from Menards, which is a hardware store in the States. And, uh, this one has a quick release, which is awesome. And then just a uh, cord to unplug for the servo. 